This was a designated safe area, and uh, honestly, I spent hours in here. I never saw a gun. The government's claimed that the footage of soldiers pointing their guns into the temple may have been taken the following day, after the troops had secured the area. However, the pictures we've obtained clearly show fires raging in central Bangkok at the same time as the soldiers are on the sky rail. These fires had been extinguished the following day. A leaked DSI report quoting named soldiers said there was proof the military had been responsible for three of the six deaths. Human Rights Watch say that among those killed by the army was a medic. It also found that while there were gun battles outside the complex, there was no evidence the sky rail used by the soldiers had been struck by fire from the temple. Throughout the crisis, a joint committee of security forces and ministers decided on strategy. They blamed red shirt violence for provoking the confrontations and deny there was a shoot to kill policy. What about Nurse Kett, for example, who went there to... Well, that's one case where I'm wounded. still, I'm, you know, I'm still very much interested. And I, as I said, things are inconclusive at the moment. So it wouldn't be fair for me to, uh, to make any kind of judgment. How, how is it a year on that it's so inconclusive? Why is well, it so quite, slow? This, it's very difficult circumstances. You know, how long did it take you to find, find out about Bloody Sunday? Well, I'm an Irishman. I knew the facts of it pretty quickly. Yeah, but I would come back to you to a situation <coughs> where but, it's but to get it to get it confirmed, you wouldn't have any problem with seeing a soldier or his commander go on trial if they for if, an abuse if violated, for an abuse like that. If they've if they've abused or violated the law. International reaction was muted. In fact, just weeks after the clashes, Thailand was elected to the presidency of the UN Human Rights Council. Clearly the world saw a different Thailand to the one experienced by those demanding accountability. Does it trouble you that, for many people, your legacy will not be as someone who tried to further democracy in this country, but who turned the guns on his own people? That's not, that, that, I don't think that's how I would be remembered. Are you sure? And yes. If, because a lot of that, people have that feeling you've got if, blood if, on your hands. If that were dis the description, I don't think that the international community would have uh, reacted the way it did. And I think um, some people are trying to rewrite history.